So I know you're not with me every night here. So every night not on here. Fox 9 at this time, yes. we like to turn to Scott. He gives a little closer, a closer look. look. Yeah, he teaches us something <laughs> usually. Ooh. Actually, for that matter, Scott, a lot of times it's a weather whiz kit who teaches uh, the older folks here something. Older. Folks. So what are we going to learn tonight, Scott? <laughs> what are we going to learn tonight? Well, uh, some of the basics to weather. What makes nice weather? What makes stormy weather? <laughs> That's simple, right? Here's a question from Eagle Middle School. Hi, my name is Jody Gilbertson, and I go to Eagle Middle School. And my weather question is, why is it that high weather pressure is associated with fair winds and clear skies, but low pressure is associated with dark clouds and precipitation? Great question. So we're talking high pressure and low pressure. She's saying, why is high pressure associated with clear skies and light winds and low pressure associated with storms and rain? Well, we're going to put it, toge put it uh, together this way. You have to look at weather as three-dimensional. That's the key here. That was one of the most difficult things when I went to college when they started talking about the weather in three dimensions. I was so used to just staring at weather maps that I'd see in the newspaper here um, down at the ground. But everything at the ground is occurring by what's happening aloft here. So let's look at the jet stream. This is the jet stream here. And this is high and low pressure here. Now you have to understand the water cycle too. The water cycle is as air rises, it will cool and then condense because it, reach, it encounters lower pressure. So the higher air rises, the pressure goes from high pressure to low pressure. You get less pressure, less temperature. It cools and condenses, makes clouds. So wherever there's rising air, we get precipitation. This is what's happening in the jet stream aloft. Here we'll have a convergence zone aloft here. That's when the jet stream winds are con coming together. So as you push the air together, it has nowhere else to go. It can't go up, so it has to go down. And so what happens is we have sinking air, and the air sinks, and it sinks clockwise. So it subsides, as we call it, subsidence. As it's sinking, it warms because it encounters the higher pressure near the ground, and that sinking air also causes a big bubble of high pressure to form here. So sinking air near the high pressure warms and dries, and so you don't have any cloud cover out. We had that pretty much during the day today. As the jet stream is going along, it'll encounter an area where it diverges aloft, and so it separates the air here. We can't have a void. We can't make a vacuum of no air. So something has to replace the air right here, and so air comes up from the ground. So what happens is high pressure now has been over over here, so that wind comes out of high pressure, it goes into low pressure counterclockwise, it gets to the middle with nowhere else to go, and it rises to fill this void right here. And so near low pressure, we have rising air, and rising air will then cool and condense and make clouds and precipitation, so you basically have rising air causing clouds and rain, while sinking air is generally dry as it warms up. And if you look at high pressure, low pressure on the ground at the surface here, you also have wind that forms between the two. And as I mentioned to the kids, if I take a room and we fill it up with air, we seal it off and we pump a bunch of air pressure inside the room, then we open the door, the air will rush from high pressure to low pressure outside the door. And because the earth is spinning, it goes around clockwise like this. And so we added a little bit extra here, but generally stormy, not stormy. That's what you got to take away from that, Don. We don't get quizzed on this, stormy. do we? <laughs> oh, yeah. Sitting on your desk. End of the week, my friends. <laughs> Let's keep him on his toes. Okay. Thanks, S guys. You bet. Samsung shook up.